Can you want to keep it here? I'm curious where water's running over the rock. Ripples. And then on down there, it's going to be cool. cool. So first of all, how do you collect in here? Well, there's a lot of different ways. Use your kick net. Just put your net down in the water like that. Notice what the current does to your net. They kick up above. That's why we call them kick samples. There's a, a nice one right there. Put it in and look for organisms. See this guy? Yeah. Okay, now, you've gotten him out of the ox house before. Okay, this is just a different kind. But I wanted to show you, watch the way he walks. This is really a cool thing to show your kids. See how there's like little tufts of sand blowing out when he scoots along? Water moving over rocks. He can go up in there. We're going to sing through there in a second. I know, look at it. Here's a nice one right here. It's still got color on it. Boy, that's pretty. Yellowfin shiner. Mm, awesome. These are horny heads. The males get horns on top of their head when they get frisky. Ooh, that's pretty. pretty. Is that a turquoise? That? No, that's a black spotted. But I think the rocks are too big to routinely live. Uh, I get my wall up here. Oh, wait, we might nice. do that. The wall! Woo! Woo! You are deep. There's a lot of sand in it. Yeah, we, used oh, to eat the awesome. we used to eat the tail oh, for the other one. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the one that bites? Yes, the Helgramite. Yes. Yeah. 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 Six legs. Long, skinny, flat. He's got. Um, I don't know if they're gills or just oh, yeah. all along yes, the side. Yeah, I think are they're the gills. gills. Appendages. You can jump right out of there, too. Mm -hmm. Good, 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 you guys. Great job. He'll He's in. Turquoise darter. Oh, a darter. Turquoise darker. Look darter. At the, look at the dorsal fin with the red. Wow. And the turquoise in oh, the tail. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's got red on the first dorsal fin and... and yeah. Blue on the second. Wait, do we have are in here? Some are in here. Some are in here. Some are in here. It's a baby, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's still got his gills. I don't know if you'll be able to see the tadpoles or not with the camera. Careful. Where are they? See him? Little swimming. You see, like, right there. There's a little. A mm -hmm. couple of things I want to talk to you about with these fish. We're interested in the kinds, but we're also interested in the adaptations for the water that they're in. Hot fin shiner, because they're really, really pretty fish, but they're a fish that, that lives in the really fast water. They like to be where the water is really fast. Now, look at the body shape of this fish, okay? It's very narrow and pointed on the head end. It's a narrow, slender fish anyway. Why would that be an advantage for that fish? It just point upstream and be aerodynamic. Exactly. It points upstream. Why does the fish want to point upstream? More oxygen. Yeah, that's, there's more oxygen and that's where the food is. So it's kind of a schooling adaptation for these guys. This is a little, in, in Georgia they call them cracky. Where I grew up in Tennessee, we don't curse, we call them crappie. But at any rate, whichever, you know, whichever way you want to handle it, that's what it is. These are guys that like to get in brush and in weeds. They blend in well. And another thing you'll notice, look at the shape of the body. See how it's flattened from the side? So this is, we call this laterally flattened.